We actually used real fire. I know. How are they gonna use real fire? I mean, I'm an actor, I'm not a stunt man. Hey, what's up? I'm Idris Elba, and welcome to Freeze Frame with British Esquire. Now, this is a show where I'm gonna show you, uh, watch some clips, I'm gonna freeze them, and then I'm gonna talk about it. Okay, so this scene uh, is where Luther is in prison and has sort of created this elaborate plan to get taken out of prison, to escape from prison. And this is where, a part in the movie, we're actually, we're not sure if his plan's gonna work because I guess he, he factored in that he was, someone's gonna break into his, his prison, but I didn't think he factored in that every single prisoner was gonna try and kill him. Anyway, this is the scene where they literally are about to break down his door and he barricades the door with the bed. Now, what you're about to see is this incredible like special effects scene, but actually, we actually used real fire. I know, how are they gonna use real fire? I mean, I'm an actor, I'm not a stunt man. But anyway, I was all right with it because there was a big metal door there and I ain't scared of fire. You know what I'm so, here we go. So, as I said, I'm not scared of fire, but this was crazy, because there was really real fire coming up there. And we basically um, did this stunt maybe a few times where I just pushed this massive, you know, mattress out the door and into the face of the stuntman. Big up to the stuntman because, you know, it's a brave job. And actually, just so you know, there is a lack of stuntmen. We need more stuntmen, especially those of color. Get to it. All right. <laughs> Boom. That's what happens, isn't it? When you try and knock on Luther's door, you get pushed back quick. All right, next clip. All right, so this clip here is a uh, Luther, what we call in the edit, the classic Luther scene, all right? It's the beginning of the classic Luther scene. We shot this scene in East London, back in my old neighborhood down in Hackney. And uh, although it's meant to be Soho, we shot most of it in, in um, Hackney. It's a fun scene because for those of you who love when, you know, Luther basically throws out the rule book of investigative tactics. This is for you. Where is it? Where is it? It's in the cupboard. In the cupboard. Idiots. <laughs> John always asks you twice, because it's not like he's got bad hearing, but he just wants you to say it clearer. So where is it, where is it, where is it? It's always like he has to ask it twice. Just gives a little more authority to the question. And then he'll repeat what you said. In the cupboard, in the cupboard. Just a little observation there. Have you listened to this? No. Have you? No. No? Good, because it's fucking horrible. Do you know what it is? It's the dying breath of a, of a young man, a young man named Callum Aldridge. And it's fucking horrible. And I want to find the prick that made that recording. And you're going to help me by telling me how this transmitter got here. Cut. No? OK. So this actor, Edward Hogg, he's like an incredible actor. Um, we, we did this scene over and over again. And each time he brought something wicked and layered. And I, I must, it must have been really difficult for Justine the, the, uh, the editor to pick the right takes, but I mean, he's amazing in the film and he was just so like, 
convincing. Right, well, this is the part where I do something horrible to you, like perhaps, uh, I don't know, tattoo your eyeball. How do you turn it on? Turn it on! Turn it on! Come on. <laughs> now, the turn it on scene where I said, I'm going to tattoo your eyeball, turn it on, that was an improvisation. He wasn't meant to turn it on, I was meant to turn it on, but I didn't know how to, so I said turn it on, and he was like, what? Turn it on, bro! And he did, and, well, the rest is all an improvisation because I wasn't meant to really stick it in his eye, but we just kept going, so I kind of did. Don't move, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving! He didn't want to stop moving, obviously, so I made him stop moving. But that's actually one of my favorite scenes to perform because, again, it was like the classic Luther, you know, he doesn't know how to like investigate properly. He just does his own thing. And, you know, just gonna stick a, a needle in someone's eyes to get the, um, the information. Okay, so just so you know, right, this scene is set in, in Piccadilly Circus. And to get the authorities to, um, you know, shoot in Piccadilly Circus is very difficult. It's like, it's just one of these places they don't like to shut down. All right, it's the center of London and they just don't do it. But apparently, the person that said yes was a big Luther fan. Sometimes you just gotta know a couple people, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, okay. Mobile, standing by, over. We shot this sequence over maybe like four or five nights, I want to say. And we had to shoot it like in the middle of the night because it's Piccadilly Circus, they couldn't shut it down in prime time. So we shot it late at night, it was very, very cold. And even though it's one big sequence, I mean, it's a real jigsaw because there are, everyone was there, but we had to shoot obviously different bits in different times. And it was a very difficult sequence to shoot, but fun. Just so you know, that phone that I'm holding is an old school Nokia. Like, like John couldn't get a digital phone. He has to get like some old school doo -doo -doo Nokia. But it did work, just FYI. Who is this? You know who it is. Boom! So we had like a, I don't know, 300 extras, but the extras that are right near this sequence are all stunt people. And they get, you know, stunt people so I could bump into them. There's a couple of women, men, and they were just like, yeah, yeah, just bump into me. I was like, really? I don't want to run into you. It's like, no, no, we're stunt people. I was like, okay, so it was like, pow! And I mean, over and over again, we was just running into people that night. Go, 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 go. That's it, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. I just want to just say big up to Andy Circus, like one of the most amazing actors our country has ever produced and the world has ever seen and he came in and really bodied this role and you know this is the first scene where I discover this character I know his name I know where he is and I catch him sitting in the middle of Piccadilly Circus <laughs> what happens next in this sequence which I don't think we get to there's a massive chase and me and Andy had to go off down into the London underground running at a million miles an hour so Andy if you're listening big up my friend say that he's just about to get started all right, guys, so thanks very much. You have been watching Freeze Frame, British Esquire's amazing show where actors talk about their work while watching a clip. It's fascinating. I love it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too.